Okay, so a quick highlighting of hypocrisy in current debate and the Conservative Party manifesto. Right, the Conservative Party manifesto wants older people, ill people, to pay their way for healthcare. So basically, if you have, I think it's more than £20,000, um, you have to effectively pay for your health care. This is in uh, National Health Service, which is meant to be free at the point of use, but let's put that aside for the moment. So basically, if you if you need health care at the end of your life, um, the state effectively has the right to pill for your uh, your earnings, your bank account, and even sell off your tangible assets. You know, house that your household, your, your you know your your estate to pay for that healthcare, right? So, you know, not only do you have the state selling off tangible assets, you also have inheritance tax, which is effectively a death tax. So, basically, pilfering everything that a person has spent their whole life working to earn. You obviously, in this day and age, it's impossible to get on the housing ladder for youngsters. So, you know, it's one of the last vestiges of being able to get on the housing ladder if you're a youngster is uh, money from inheritance. So I was thinking about this earlier, and one of the things that I don't think anybody's realised, that's occurred to anybody at all, is... The conflation with the right to die, assisted assisted dying debate that took part a while ago. Now, the main argument against assisted dying is the potential for family members to uh, kind of encourage somebody to commit suicide because of the burden, the economic and uh, social and, you, you know, uh, burden that it would have on family, you know, so... The, the general fear is, you know, you can't have assist, assisted dying because family members might encourage people to commit suicide, basically. But surely the same happens with this as well. If a person is going to have a prolonged period or in, old, in old age, prolonged period where they're um, going to be have to be cared for, you know, through Alzheimer's, dementia, or some other um, illness, then surely having a charge at the end of your life, if you, you know, you have that care, on top of inheritance tax, is going to drive some older people towards suicide. So how can you not have one and the other? How can you not have a debate for both? We haven't even had a debate on this charge for health care, for care, an end of a life. Yet we had this big protracted moral debate about how if a person has a degenerative disease that's going to leave them, you know, unable to care for themselves, soiling their own nappies unable to feed themselves in absolute agony we can't allow them to take that choice to commit suicide because of the potential for outside elements to force them into that yet with this charge at an end of a life there's no potential that family members will influence people into making that ultimate choice so how can you how can we not debate this in that, that fashion, and not recognise the other issue. You can't have an argument, well, we can't let people who have agonising, debilitating, end-of-life situation commit suicide, the humane thing to do, to choose to do it. But when it comes to a person needing care at the end of their life, there's no potential for... for somebody you know for them to be inclined into committing suicide why aren't we talking about this this is one of the one of the reasons i re, one of the reasons i think the 2017 conservative manifesto is absolutely disgusting i mean putting aside all of the wishy-washy um the policies that are very very vague you know 
implying that they will do something as opposed to categorically saying no we won't do this so i mean i just i i think it's interesting that nobody's nobody's uh, media haven't picked up on this um it sounds like the kind of thing that majid nawaz would talk about on lbc hopefully he will in the future and maybe i'll tag him in on this video but how can you how can you not consider the possibility that how can you not consider the possibility that people might be forced into suicide if they think they're going to be an economic burden on a family with this bill at end of life but have a heated debate about that when people are choosing whether to end their life and they're, if they're in a horrendous irreversible decision in old age i i i don't get it you can't have one argument for one and one arg and not have one argument for the other. So I, I don't particularly care which political party debates this. It needs to be raised and it needs to be debated and it needs to be considered. Because as far as I'm concerned, not only is it a tax or a charge on the ill, the elderly and the you know, soon to be deceased. It's also a manipulation to put people in an impossible situation. I hope people listen to this video because I think it's very important. Nobody else seems to be talking about it.